Hello everyone to Tuesday's Daily Prayers. I hope you're all well. It's good to have you with us here on YouTube and welcome to those joining us on the phone. You'll find the words to the prayers in the box below this video screen if you don't have the prayer booklet. If you need any further information, the details for Ian, our minister, are there also. As usual, we'll give people just a little more time to join us. During this, we can calm ourselves, our minds, our hearts, our bodies and our souls as we prepare to come before God. Let's take a few moments. The peace of Christ be with us all. Let us say together, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, in your love and power, you created all things out of nothing. By your eternal counsel and providence, you uphold and rule heaven and earth. Gracious God, you not only created each of us, but you sustain and form us with your Holy Spirit. We trust in you, God, our Maker, Jesus, our Mediator, Holy Spirit, our Comforter. I'm now going to read from the Psalms and today we're at Psalm 8. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens. From the lips of children and infants you have ordained praise because of your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars, which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him? You made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honour. You made him ruler over the works of your hands. You put everything under his feet, all flocks and herds, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Amen. Now we say the prayer that Jesus taught us to say, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Now we continue with Mark's Gospel, and today I'm reading from chapter 11 from verse 1. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage and Bethany at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and just as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there, which no one has ever ridden. Untie it and bring it here. If anyone asks you, Why are you doing this? Tell him, 
The Lord needs it and will send it back here shortly. They went and found a colt outside in the street, tied at a doorway. As they untied it, some people standing there asked, What are you doing untying that colt? They answered as Jesus had told them to, and the people let them go. When they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks over it, he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, while others spread branches they had cut in the fields. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord! Blessed is the, king, is the coming kingdom of our father David! Hosanna in the highest! Jesus entered Jerusalem and went to the temple. He looked around at everything, but since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. Amen. Now we enter a time of prayer. We'll use the first, sh first prayer on the sheet, which is followed by a time of silence. This is where you can lift before God the prayers, people, things that are on your hearts and the things that God lays on your hearts. We pray together. Lord of heaven and earth, we praise and thank you for upholding and ruling over all creation. We trust in your never failing love knowing that even in the hardest of times and most difficult of situations, you are at work bringing all things together under Christ. Therefore, hear our prayers, which we make in his name. We pray in silence.
we continue together. You are the beginning and the end. All time is in your hands. All people under your care. Look with mercy upon our broken world, O God, and in your loving kindness provide for our needs. Do not be slow in answering us, we humbly ask, and do not allow us to be slow in answering your call to serve you in love and sacrifice. To the glory of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. O Christ, the Master Carpenter, who, at the last, through wood and nails, purchased our salvation, wield well your tools in the workshop of the world, so that we, who come rough hewn to your bench, may here be fashioned to a truer beauty by your hand. We ask this for your name and for your sake. Amen. May the Lord of peace himself give us peace at all times and in all ways, and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Amen. Thanks for joining us today, folks, and hope you have a good rest of the day. Bye for now.